Hello my YouTube friends, Greg here, again with no cut, no edited, no bull video. Today I would like to talk about intermittent fasting or fasting in general. Um, fasting is a fascinating thing and it's actually opposite from starving. I was talking to many people and people say, oh, so we we'll do it for breakfast and things like that and i would mention hey most of the times i actually fast in the morning and exercise fasted and i say what do you mean that means you hungry you're starving not necessary so uh, what i'll do i'll create this video as a basic one to what fasting is and what is not ways to fast and benefits and also discuss different variation of fasting and uh, there are approaches to eating that code differently from fasting for example one meal a day or OMAD and there's a standard names like 16 8 or 5 2 and what it actually means and uh, basically discuss uh, common side effects of fasting they're not side effects they're basically fasting adaptations and um, and so on i'll probably create separate video on um, details what fast is good for what we're trying to address um, how it's uh, done how you enter fast how you exit the fast what fast is all about but today is um, I would like to basically skim through, make sure that we know the basics, and then we will dig deeper. So, how we prepare for fast? If you think about fast, it's basically asking body to utilize resources that are already saved. And we save resources in a number of ways, but most long-term storage would be fat deposits. They're not 100% fat, and I want to talk about this. But there's also two types of fat. Um, so to ask body to utilize its reserves, body needs to go through not called adaptation, become fat adapted. And the reason because adaptation is so important, because body would do everything to do very little. Within time, some of the bodies become more efficient. If you notice, like we 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 think about shortcuts, we're always trying to make things easier for us. Well, body is the same. So body look for shortcuts and one of the shortcuts would be glucose. Body is craving for glucose. So first side effects of fasting would be craving and would be indication that you're entering fast from most likely unhealthy diet. Unhealthy diet, I'm talking about any names of the diet and I wanna go into diet debate. But the, far, the diet that high in carbohydrates will create uh, glu glucose dependency and glucose basically triggers some sort of hormonal uh, response in the body. don't want to talk about it now as well, which basically makes us addicted to carbohydrates. So to enter fast and not suffer during a fast, I'll suggest to prep your body to better fat adaptation and eating less carbohydrates in general, especially refined carbs and more healthy fats and good quality proteins. Breaking fast is also an interesting process because the whole idea of fasting is actually achieve benefits and the way you break a fast may actually undo all the benefits that fast was done in the first place. Mm -hmm. So I'll probably create a separate video on how to break fast but again, avoid breaking fast with uh, carbohydrates or simple carbohydrates. And if you do, make sure that those are low GI carbohydrates and good quality ones. Also, what names of the fasting they are there? The common standard ones, the 16-8 means uh, people not eating 16 hours. When I say not eating, nothing that would spike uh, insulin response. Basically water, coffee without sugar and milk, and green tea, even basically black tea without any uh, milk or sugars would be fine. And 8 hours eating window, so 16 not eating, and 8 hours uh, eating. There's a uh, fasting called 5-2, it's when you uh, basically eat what you like 
you know, five days and um, have reduced calorie intake I think it's uh, 800 calories a day for two days I'm against that fasting because it's not really fasting it's a cheating it's a defeats all the purpose of fasting but 5-2 it's uh, another method as well as I was mentioned before one meal a day or OMED it's basically when you consume all your uh, food within one meal um, I think it's good as intermittent fasting method but as a consistent lifestyle approach is pretty bad because first of all it's not healthy to consume all your nutrients within one meal it may overwhelm the body and um, all of it most of it can go to storage and also it's pretty hard to do it uh, on a daily basis and at the end if you do it every day body may um, shift metabolism which is not a good thing so idea of the difference between fasting and intermittent fasting is actually a keyword intermittent that means you sometimes fast sometimes don't and you shuffle the way you fast so body responds well to controlled shock right so all the benefits coming from a shock and not plant response so when you do new intermittent fasting try to make sure that you kind of surprise your body most of the time and uh, if you wonder where to start, what diet to start with, or any other question about fasting, please ask away. Comment down below um, and what challenges you believe you will be facing or benefits or concerns or anything like that. Also, please uh, like videos so we promote that uh, good word of uh, self-help and subscribe channel so you don't miss anything. Thank you for watching. Until next time.